Hello, and greetings from the interwebs. I'm Jamie. And I'm Marcus. And we are here today because we are huge fans of the show, Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? Huge fans. Really huge. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, uh, we wanted to do our own show, Is It a Good Idea to Freeze This? Right? Uh, here is a variety of the items we're going to freeze in season one. Now, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Well, we got a banana. We got a copy of the Watchtower. And we've got this awesome switch comb. Yes, the deadly. A crow. Um, whoa, whoa. Pack of cigarettes. Nail polish remover. Oh, did you tell them about the Everlasting Gobstopper? I didn't. Uh, Check that out. This this will break your teeth, folks. Graphing calculator, TI-83, I believe, circa 1995. Yes. And what else we got? We have a pair of uh, drumsticks here, a can of sardines, and some popcorn. VHS tape. Check out this mouse trap, huh? Nice mouse trap. We have a lightsaber. Don't want to leave home without that. And a not very nice Xbox that I ran over with my car. Yes, it just certainly looks like that, Marcus. Well, Jamie, we got all this cool stuff here. Where are we going to start? Well, I think a good place to start would be with the light bulb. Oh, all right. Yeah. Now, the light bulb was one of the objects that John and Jory started off with, so we figured... How yeah, appropriate. Right. Very appropriate. So, <clears throat> we're going to find out, is it a bright idea to freeze this? Is it a good idea to freeze this? Let's find out! Now here at the Marcus Stacy Laboratories, safety is our number one concern. So that's why we have our trusty tinfoil here as well as our fire extinguisher. Uh, now to freeze this, we were going to use liquid nitrogen, but unfortunately we uh, weren't able to, uh, to get a hold of that. Yeah, there's all this paperwork and I don't really like giving my name out when I don't have to. Yeah, right, yeah, they want, they want our names and all sorts of information that we run really willing to, to give up. So unfortunately, we weren't able to get that, but instead, we are going to be using uh, this baby right here. And uh, what's, the, what's the name of this fridge, Marcus? OK, uh, well, um, let's, let's give it a name. How about Cindy? We're going to call her, gonna call her Cindy. And now, we're going to see what happens. Right. Let's do it. OK, uh, how long has that pizza been in here, Marcus, that we got the That's light bulb on top of? Only a couple of days. Do you think we should have that so close to the corn dogs, though? You know what? I, I think we're good. OK. I think we're fine. I, think I, I just want to be, be okay. scientific here. That's all. Right. No, I understand. How long do you think we should have freeze it for? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. Uh, what do you think, Marcus? <clears throat> uh, I'm going with 6 minutes, 13 seconds. 6 minutes, 13 seconds. Here we go. OK, so now we, we put the light bulb in the freezer, and uh, as an extra precaution, uh, because uh, this might be uh, really bright, the uh, light emanating from the freezer. So we've cut out uh, some holes in these white pieces of paper to protect our eyes. So we're gonna we're gonna we'll do that it. right now, um, in order to watch the experiment in progress uh, without potentially blinding ourselves. All looks good. Um, doesn't look particularly right. Give it time. Give it time. All right. Yeah. Okay. This no changes yet. No, nothing. I'm starting to, to doubt to doubt the need for these. Do you think we should just, you know? I'm good. I can get rid of them. Uh, anyway, um, so what do you think the light bulb's doing in there, Marcus? Ah, uh, well, I predict that uh, it's probably condensing. I think I remember from uh, one of those science classes back in the fifth grade that, that metal tends to condense when it's made cold, and uh, so it's probably getting very small. There could be an explosion, or maybe even an implosion, and if it does so with enough force, it could theoretically create a black hole in my freezer that would suck up all of the food, which would suck, because I can't afford to go shopping again for a while. Okay, uh, looks like, uh, it looks like it's done. Let's go see. So let's, uh, let's go check this out. Okay, we're ready. We're ready to open this up. Let's yep. do it. Cool. Okay, let's see what happens. And here we go. Okay, um, here's our light bulb. And let's take it. it out. Be careful. Be careful. You good? Oh, I got it. I got it. Is it hot? That's cold. Damn cold. Not much 
uh, has appeared to happen. On the surface, it looks completely ordinary. Yep. Um, uh, it didn't arc, didn't explode. There uh, is no cracks of any kind. Uh, no nothing melting. No melting, no. nothing shattered. Uh, so you may be wondering, is it a good idea to freeze a light bulb? And um, I think since uh, light bulbs um, provide electricity and generally get pretty hot, uh, it's probably a bad idea to freeze a light bulb. So Definitely a bad idea. Definitely. We're going to go definitely a bad idea. Do, do you think it matters that the bulb was dead? Uh, no, 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 I don't think it really mattered that it was dead. Um, I think that's really just kind of a moot point. Um, Inconsequential. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, thanks for joining us on another episode of Is It a Good Idea to Freeze This? I'm your host, Jamie Dufault. And I'm your lovely assistant, Marcus Stacy. And uh, we'll see you next time. I am Jamie. And I'm Marcus. And we are here to... Uh, do something. We're gonna take that one more time. We're gonna take it right back. Do it again. <laughs> we're gonna freeze some shit. Yeah. Okay. We don't know why yeah, we're, we're here. <laughs> we have a vague idea. Okay.